The HFE 59B RF meter kit is a professional level far field broadband RF meter designed to measure radio frequency and microwave radiation. It covers the frequency range of 27 MHz to 3.3 GHz using the UBB27 ultra broadband omnidirectional antenna and 700 MHz to 2.7 GHz with increased tolerance up to 3.3 GHz using the enhanced log periodic antenna. The values displayed are the sum of all the sources within the frequency range of the meter. This frequency range covers the radiation emitted by cordless phones, decked phones, cell phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi, smart meters, cell phone towers, radio and television broadcast towers, and more. The meter displays the RF power density measurement in microwatts per square meter or milliwatts per square meter in its highest range. Included with the K2 carrying case is the HF59B RF meter with a rechargeable battery, a silicone protective cover, an AC battery charger, a UBB27 ultra-broadband omnidirectional antenna, a log periodic directional antenna with enhanced frequency response, a DG20 G10 20 dB RF attenuator, an HV10 2400 G10 10 dB RF preamplifier, an HP 800 G3 800 MHz high pass filter, the operating manuals, warranty, and certificate of factory calibration. The meter's adjustable audio tone replicates the signal patterns and intensity of measured RF emissions, which aids in source identification and direction. Headphones can also be used with the HF59B instead of the built-in speaker by plugging them into the headphone jack as shown. Note that this jack is hidden by the silicone protective cover. Also included is an auto power off function after 40 minutes to conserve battery life. The auto power off functionality can be disabled by the connection of an AC adapter or a data logging cable to the DC output jack described later in this video. A full charge will power the meter for about 3 hours of continuous use with the UBB27 antenna attached and approximately 8 hours with the log periodic antenna. When the low battery message appears in the display, recharge the meter by plugging in the included AC adapter to the power jack as shown. This green light will show that the meter is charging. A full charge will take about 10 to 12 hours and the green light will go out when the charge is complete. The HF59B itself offers excellent sensitivity down to 0.01 microwatts per square meter and up to 19.99 milliwatts per square meter or 19,999 microwatts per square meter in three ranges. By using the included HV10 2400G10 preamplifier, the minimum range is extended down to 0.001 microwatts per square meter or 1 nanowatt per square meter. By using the DG20 G10 attenuator, the maximum range is extended up to 1,999 milliwatts per square meter, or 1.999 watts per square meter. When measuring with the UBB27 antenna without the preamplifier, the minimum displayed value is 3 to 4 microwatts per square meter due to technical limitations but still maintains a 0.1 microwatt per square meter resolution. The HF59B has the option to measure the full signal received, which means both analog and pulse digital sources simultaneously, or just the pulse digital sources alone. The meter includes an AC and DC output jack to supply signals to more advanced testing or data logging equipment. The AC output jack provides the detected audio portion of the amplitude modulated or detected pulse digital signal, and the DC output provides the interface for long-term recording of the measured value. Its full-scale output can be set to 1 volt DC or 2 volts DC and can be used to send data to any of the NFA series meters. You can also use an external logging device of your choice. It is recommended to use the 1 volt DC output setting as the default. The HF59B has the ability to measure in three signal modes, RMS, a time average signal value, the peak value, 
and peak hold that shows the highest output of the signal over time. This peak held value can easily be cleared by holding the clear button directly above the display. The HF59B has patented circuitry that allows the accurate measurement of the extra fast rise times and needle-like peaks that are present in modern RF modulation techniques. To further facilitate this, the HF59B also has the ability to change its measurement bandwidth in two ranges. VBW standard is used by default. VBW max is only used when measuring radar signals. The HF59B can detect events down to 33 microseconds in VBW standard mode and down to 0.5 microsecond events in VBW max mode. Since this is much too fast to show, the numerical display itself updates every half second. In peak mode, the display actually shows the average of peaks detected within this half second interval. Note that this display averaging has no effect on the actual measured values sent to the AC or DC output ports. To display the highest peak received, use the peak hold mode. When measuring high crest signals in VBW standard mode, such as cellular, WiMAX, Wi-Fi during data transmission, or digital video broadcast, determine what percentage is a high speed service and apply the following correction factors. Multiply by 2 for a slightly audible high-speed service. Multiply by 5 for a 50% ratio. And multiply by 10 if the service is predominantly high-speed. To attach either antenna, insert it into the slots on the top of the meter as shown. Feed the antenna cable underneath the meter and connect it to the antenna socket. The connection should be snug, but be careful not to over-tighten. When the UBB27 antenna is properly attached, you will see a red and green light as shown. The red light means that the antenna is properly connected, and the green light means that the internal circuitry of the antenna itself is working correctly. When the log periodic antenna is properly connected, you will again see a red and green light as shown, indicating the same connectivity and functionality. The log periodic directional antenna measures in the direction that you are aiming. If you could see its detection pattern, it would look like this. With this directional pickup pattern, this antenna's best use is to identify the direction of a radiation source. After this source is known, further measurements are done with the omnidirectional UBB27 antenna that measures radiation from all directions simultaneously. If you could see its detection pattern, it would look like this. If you do not know the source direction of radiation, begin measuring with the log periodic antenna. Set the signal switch to peak mode. Set the signal range to 19.99 microwatts per square meter. Set the signal type switch to full. And power the unit on. Slowly scan an area and follow the direction of the highest field strength. Adjust the volume level of the sound as needed. If the display is showing only a 1 at any point, then switch the range to 199.9 microwatts per square meter and continue scanning. If the display is again showing only a 1 at any point, then switch the range to 19.99 milliwatts per square meter and continue scanning. If the display is still showing only a 1 when measuring on the 19.99 milliwatt per square meter scale, then attach the included DG20 G10 attenuator as follows. Power off the meter. Disconnect the antenna. Then attach the attenuator to the meter. Connect the antenna to the attenuator. And finally, change the external adapter switch to match the adapter that you have just attached. In this case, the switch will be moved to the minus 20 dB position. When any external adapter is properly connected, it will have a green light as shown. If you are measuring in areas of little radiation that's less than a few microwatts per square meter, then attach the HV10 preamplifier the same way, but the external adapter switch would be in the plus 10 dB position as shown. 
This preamplifier can also be helpful to boost very weak audio signals from the meter to help identify and trace the source of weak radiation sources. Be sure to return the external adapter switch to the 0 dB position when removing the attenuator or preamplifier. Once you know the source and direction of concern, continue measuring in the affected areas with the UBB27 Ultra Broadband Antenna. Before changing antennas, power the unit off. The purpose of the UBB27 antenna is to measure total RF exposure from all directions at once. This simulates what your body experiences with exposure from all sides across a large frequency range. In addition to covering a wide frequency range of 27 MHz to 3.3 GHz, the other advantage of measuring with the UBB27 antenna is that it's better equipped to detect hot spots caused by complex reflections. These localized areas of high radiation are common inside buildings. To measure with the UBB27, be sure both the red and green lights are illuminated on the meter, and remember to start with the lowest range possible. While measuring, try to keep the antenna as far away as possible from you to reduce the field distortions from your own body. This means that if you are standing with the meter in front of you, your body could be blocking some of the radiation that's coming from behind you. Slowly scan an area by rotating the meter 90 degrees and back, and slowly move it around the area for at least 15 seconds to find the highest reading possible. Adjust the volume level of the sound as needed. The best technique to measure total exposure is to use a figure 8 pattern as shown in peak hold mode to show only the highest peak levels. This method effectively captures hot spots and radiation in both horizontal and vertical polarizations. This mode is also useful for measuring intermittent sources of radiation, such as the signals emitted by a smart meter. The peak hold also allows you to look elsewhere without missing the highest level that the meter recorded. Note that after displaying this highest measured value, the meter reading will slowly decrease until a higher peak is measured. This peak hold droop, or decay time, can be changed with this switch as shown. The plus setting is standard, and the minus setting is a faster decay time. If you need to clear this peak held value, simply press and hold the clear button as shown. If the display is showing only a 1 at any point, then increase the range switch or attach the DG20 attenuator if needed and continue scanning. And again, if you are measuring in areas of little radiation that's less than a few microwatts per square meter, then attach the HV10 preamplifier. If you want to limit the frequency range of the UBB27 or log periodic antenna to frequencies over 800 MHz, then attach the included HP800 G3 between the antenna and the meter. The HP800 high pass filter does not require any external adapter switch setting. Just be aware that when you are using this filter, the meter will only show radiation sources over 800 MHz. This adapter can be very useful to eliminate television and FM broadcast signals or other lower frequency sources that may be present while determining other sources and levels of radiation. Another effective way to eliminate broadcast signals from your measurement is to toggle between full and pulsed modes. The difference in displayed values can then be used to calculate what percentage of signal is from a pulsed digital source. Note that all sources still need to be included in the final total exposure measurement. Once you have determined this highest reading, including the correction factors if applicable, compare it to the latest building biology guidelines. Always use peak or peak hold and full signal measurement mode when comparing your results to building biology guidelines. Currently, SBM 2008 is the most recent building biology standard. A reasonable goal after mitigation would be to have levels reduced to the slight concern level in microwatts per square meter as shown. For more detailed information about the HFE 59B RF meter kit and examples of common sound sources of microwave radiation, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at slt.co.